Scorpio. Okay. So I wasn't, I was going to stop and hold on a second. Okay. I was going to stop, but I kept hearing Scorpio. So here we are. Uh, I feel like you guys are about to like find something out. Yep. <laughs> like a hard truth. Some it could be pertaining to um, family matters. Career, something like that. Let's see. I feel like whatever you're going to find out is going to be like, it's something that you need to find out. I feel like there's something that is around you and it could have to do with like friendships um, or just a group of individuals with the 11th house at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, like somebody is going to say something to you and it may not. Like, okay, I'm getting a couple of things. Like, something seems, like, insincere or, like, they're just not being completely, like, genuine or, like, there's more to it. Okay, like, when somebody says, like, a joke or something and they're like, okay, well, must be some truth to that one. It's something like that or just... Because I feel like your intuition is... For some of you, your intuition... I mean, y'all already have high um, high intuition. The moon is in Scorpio right now. Um, for others of you, you might feel like, um, like a lack of it, like you're being blocked from something. It's like, I know I feel like such and such is happening, but I just can't put my finger on it. it, it I'm getting that kind of vibe. Whoa. Could be dealing with um, an earth sign. Okay. Queen of Wands, King of Cups with the world. Six of Swords, moving forward. But it feels painful. Like it's almost like it's hard to do. Because the facts are contradicting, not, um, they kind of just go against how you feel. It's like, this is the truth, but I mean, I feel like this, but I mean, I see the facts here and it's, it is it's conflicting something is conflicting like you're needing to move forward away from something or towards something the fool a new path four of wands Three of Wands. Hmm. Death. Yeah, see, but here, this is definitely you. You're moving away from something. Cause something feels like a risk. Something's just not working out with the three of pinnacles at the bottom of the deck. The 
the wheel. I like that under the fool. Just a allowing, as long as you are moving forward and you're on your path, the wheel can turn in your favor. Because we know you can stop that. And at the bottom, yeah, like something is destined to happen for you. Uh-oh. It's the Ace of Cups. So some of you are leaving one relationship for another. But we're going to clarify whatever you're ending, whatever you're moving away from. Could just be uh, moving away from a part of yourself. Some of you are feeling a little more... Um, not, that's not what I'm getting. Because when this came out, the Three of Swords in the reverse was here at the bottom of the deck. And now it's here with the Ace of Cups. Because whatever you are finding out, whatever information you are receiving, it is the truth. But it's... It's affecting you. Queen of Wands. At the bottom of the deck is Seven of Cups. I feel like things seem like... No, because I'm feeling too, like, both ways. And I feel like this may be how you guys are feeling. Because... You know you're you're confident, you're ready to get on your path. Your ships are here. But I'm almost feeling like this is separate from that. There's some sorrow somewhere. me about the six of swords interesting it just flipped over together look the six of swords with the nine of wands so it's clarifying itself the wounded warrior trying to give it one more go who got this and it was in the same when i clarified i feel like it was in the same position and i can't think of who it was So you have a new start coming, but it's like you, was it Capricorn? No. Maybe it was Virgo. I don't know. You probably just got to go back and look. But it was, it's like you have something, but it's not necessarily like you don't want it. It's tough. Because you've already been through a lot, whatever this is. Tell me about death. Eight of Wands. This is definitely revolving around communication. So, I feel like you're, there were some, okay, for some of you, your travel plans got delayed or they just got canceled altogether. But I I feel like you're gonna be okay, like that something is gonna work out to where you're gonna be able to leave anyway. I don't know, something's gonna happen with that. For others of you, I feel like communication just kinda like came to a dead stop with someone. Um, like it was going well, uh, it was moving really fast and then all of a sudden crickets. And now it's like, you gotta not care. at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of swords with the strength card like i i do feel like somebody needs to tell you something if they haven't already come at the wheel 
Actually, no, tell me about the fool. Whoa. The princess of wands in reverse. Yeah, something is weird. At the bottom of the deck is the ace of cups. I just heard somebody fumble the bag. Or it's a fumble. But the princess of wands this is initiating action. So something started. You're texting, you're talking. But it's like no real movement forward. about the four of wands Ooh. the ten of swords in reverse this is strange I'm also feeling like you wanted to give something another go but you're like you're shutting it down like you're not willing to risk it because your stability is what matters. Like you have a new self love, like you're going on, you're doing your own thing. And it's like, whatever situation this was, it had you in your head and now you just don't wanna be there anymore. You're learning how to, you're learning that you can create your reality. So you can change things, which is good. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. The moon with justice at the bottom of the deck. Something being obscured. See, this is unknown. So we don't know about this yet. Or you don't know about this. I feel like for some of you, once you're in a situation and once you stop like it's not really working. So you're feeling like you need to move forward because it's like, oh, okay, well, what is the point? Once you stop giving in to the situation, because you're carefree, you're loving it, loving life, whatever. But once you stop giving in to the situation, I feel like here's this, here this person comes because they're not readily like offering you their own cup that's when things will change for you. Hmm. Also, okay, before I say that, cause I'm feeling like there is still some confusion around some situation that you kind of just can't like wrap either you just don't know and so it's kind of got you wrapped up time of the queen of wands oh the three of swords with the fool why you keep getting to you're like the only one that this is happening to with the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, I'm feeling like if you're, cause this, look at this. And when I said somebody has something to tell you, but they haven't told you yet, there's something that you don't know. Some of them is like, they have feelings for you. They haven't told you, but they're, there's, they're in a situation. Look, there's two people here and it's almost like you don't want to be there. Like, I don't know. That feels weird to me. And it feels like, yeah. Because whatever this is, this is a risk. This is a risk. This feels like if you go after something, 
with the three of wands because that's when the decision's already made but somebody gets hurt So it's like, I've, yeah, and for some of you, yeah, I just feel like, because the Queen of Wands can be some like someone else. And with the Four of Wands, like, I know it's a, it can be a, a celebration, but it can also mean like, like they live with this person. But why is the wheel here? Tell me about the wheel. What? Ace of Wands. In the reverse with the Three of Wands. Okay, so whatever this situation is, it's a good thing that you're shutting it down. It's a good thing that it's not happening because there is, while there's love here, there's still a lot of stuff that you don't know. And I feel like the risk would be if you went after whatever this is, you can run the risk of getting your heart broken. Pretty much, that's how I'm seeing it. That's how I'm getting it. I feel like there's so much more to this story that I want to unravel, but, you know, we just don't have the time. All right, let me read Saturn for you real quick and then I'm out. I gotta go. My baby's coming home. The Saturn card says that it may it may feel bad now, but it's going to be resolved. If this is the time of so sorrow and hopelessness, realize it's all about diligence, sticking to what you believe in and adhering to your goals. This is a period in your life that emphasizes toughness and work. It's all about not giving up and following through. Saturn also deals with power and control, often meaning law enforcement and the military. You may have encounters with law enforcement at this time. Do watch for that possibility, although the encounter may not necessarily be a negative one. If it is, though, you will need to play by the rules and do what is thought correct or expected. We are talking about conventions here. Any rallying against authority or tradition will not serve you well at this moment. On the more positive side, you may meet a fatherly type person who will help you advance with your goals. Saturn can sometimes herald the appearance of a sage or a teacher. This will be no small thing and can indicate a mentor arriving just when you are in most need of one. Why have I not accomplished more at this age? Have I wasted my time? Did I allow important affairs to slip by me while concentrating on non-essential matters? Many lessons are being learned and problems conquered currently or in the near future. The gift of Saturn is keeping you on your path, helping you face parts of your life you may dread, but you simply must fulfill. They are your contracts toward more solid achievements and a better life. Oh, what was I looking at? That's something I wanted to point to, whatever. Oh, circumstances may be harsh for a while, but believe your sacrifices to be worth it. It is a good time to be diligent and not rush anything. Whatever you are asking about is likely to take considerable time and not come about too quickly. So handle with care whatever this situation is. Do it the right way. Don't allow too many risks to like take over or whatever. Just be mindful take logic into consideration here um because there again there is something that is unknown that you don't know about but i just feel like it's allowing it, this to happen because i feel like spirit is in full control over this whatever it is okay so and that's what i have for you scorpio um if this resonated which is weird <laughs> comment like share subscribe if you haven't done so already i love 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 you oh and if you want to book a personal reading my information is in the description box below okay again i love 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 you and i'll talk to you soon